Hello guys and uh, welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this one we're going to be taking a look at um, a tutorial series on modeling a ball valve. So these are the various parts. Um, it's going to be uh, kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial taking you through modeling each of these individual um, components and pieces and um, putting them together into an assembly. So um, you see here We've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different parts. Um, so we'll start off with the ball, as it's a ball valve. Um, so uh, here we are in uh, Fusion 360. And um, we're going to start by creating a sphere. Okay, and uh, we'll create it on this plane. And uh, let's say we're going to make a um, 10 centimeter diameter um, ball valve, so that would be 100 millimeters, like so. This would be suitable, for, let's say, for a 10 millimeter pipe, uh, a 10 centimeter pipe. Uh, so uh, a ball valve basically has a hole through the middle of the ball that the um, liquid can flow through, and when it's turned, um, the ball is perpendicular to the flow, uh, the slot and, and uh, liquid cannot flow through anymore. So we need a hole going through here basically. So we will choose the front view and we're going to make a hole through there. Um, so our actual sphere diameter was 100. Um, we'll make the hole through, let's say, um, 75 70 okay so now we've created that sketch there we will um, extrude this out to make a hole through our circle so if we go to select and selection filters and um, we go to sketch profiles now you see I can only select sketch profile there, it's in the middle, and we'll choose to extrude this out. And we're going to extrude it actually in two directions, because we want to extrude to both sides. Um, so if we go two sides, oops, extrude, two sides, one out here, and one out there, and that will make the hole through our ball valve. Um, option to cut. Okay, so now we have our hole through the ball. Uh, next thing we need to make is the slot in the top of the ball valve where the handle will slot into. Okay, so um, that's going to be created with another sketch. We will go to the top view and we're going to create a slot in here. Now the slot needs to be centered so what we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll choose to create a line and we'll come 15 millimeters in each direction And then we're going to turn this into a construction line. Uh, so with our selection filter on. So um, sketch points and all of our sketch geometry needs to be selectable. Okay, so we select these two. And we'll turn those into construction lines. And now we go to our offset. We're going to offset this by, say, 2.5 millimeters on each side uh, 
and then we join those ends up like so finish the sketch and so this is going to be our um, slot in the top there now the slot doesn't go all the way through so we're going to extrude and we're going to use an option to um, offset from the plane so offset from plane and our offset uh, our ball was um, 100 and we made this uh, 70 so if we um, offset from here uh, 35 that should put us at the bottom there so we make this 40 and all the way up like so cut again and that gives us our slot in the top of the ball valve there um, which is the slot that our handle is going to fit into okay now uh, a slot might be a little bit narrow so um, we can actually step back on our timeline down here and we can edit this sketch we'll delete those and this and we'll make it a little bit wider so our offset we'll make it five millimeters instead and the same to the other side now we'll join these up finish our sketch and we'll step forward now um, we can delete this as if it never happened make our sketch visible and again, we'll extrude up, offset from the plane by 40, and there we go. Now we can hide that sketch again, and there's our slot that our handle can fit into. Okay, so that basically is our first uh, component here. Um, so we will change this to be the ball, and we will create a component from that body. So there now is our first component here, the ball that will go inside our valve. Okay, um, so that's uh, the first component model. That was pretty straightforward. That's our ball that goes inside here. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll move on to the stem um, for the handle. So I'll see you uh, next time. And as always, you can follow along um, you can download the project file from um, the link in the YouTube video below. And uh, don't forget to, hit, forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.